Hi everyone, this is Tom Kraz. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a mini tutorial around SUID and its place in Linux Capture the Flag type of challenges. When an SUID bit is set on an executable file, this means that the file will be executed with the same permissions as the owner of the executable file. For example, if the owner is root and the file has an SUID bit set, then when the binary is run, it will be run with the root permissions. You often find SUID exploits inside Capture the Flag challenges and we're just going to take some examples today. You can find more details about this on my website and you'll find more links below in the comment section. Okay, let's go. First thing we got to do is to find all of the binaries that have the SUID flag set. And we also have to make sure we throw all the errors into dev null because there will be a lot of them. We see plenty of files that have legitimate SUIDs, password, uh, some other things. But down at the bottom we see Base64. Base64 is a command used to encode text into Base64. But in this case, because it's got an SUID bit, we can exploit that by opening up files that are available only to root and seeing if it will, if we can view them. And yes, we can. It's a Base64 version of ETC Shadow. Now, if we pipe that back into the decode of Base64, we get the ETC Shadow in clear text, and we also get the hashes for users in clear text. We can use something like John the Ripper in order to try and get the clear text of these hash passwords, and we can get into the system. Easy peasy. Worth mentioning here this really good website called GTFO Bins. You can pretty much type in any command and take a look at any exploit that you can do with SUID. You find stuff like base64, you'll find tar, you find different sudo types of commands you can use to exploit them. Um, in our case here, we, we had a look at base64, but it's not the only one. There are other ones we can take a look at. What about awk, for example? Awk is a, a kind of a programming language used to manipulate text strings. And if you have an SUID bit set on awk, you can also read any file on the system in particular file root privileges like etc shadow so let's take a look run our find command again yay there's the awk awk has the 60 has the suid bit set if we run that and just like it said on the website etc shadow bang here we go we can see the etc shadow file same as the last time use something like um, john the ripper in order to clear text the hashed password and we're into the system something else worth noting as well if you take a look at these files in particular the awk one awk because it's a programming language can actually do a lot of different things including run system programs we can for example spawn a shell with awk but what happens if we do spawn a shell with awk with just a regular user this is not the suid bit version of awk but the one that's on the system which is not which hasn't got an suid bit set Oh, what, what's going on? Uh, what is it? What is it? Comments? Is it the uh, quotes? Is it the... Uh, uh, ah, brackets, brackets, brackets. Okay. So now we've got a shell and the user is, uh, is me, as expected, because I run it as a regular system. Mark. Now, what if I run the S1 with the SUID? In theory, it's running as root. It should give me a root shell. Let's see. ID? No, no root shell. And why is this? This is because AUX developers are not stupid. They don't allow stuff like this to happen. You cannot just launch a shell when an SUID bit is set. This is something built into the system and protection for the servers for the server. But we can get around it. We can look at uh, sensitive files, etc. Shadow, and we can pretty much use this as a foothold to, to exploit the server. Okay, guys, this is Tom Kraus. Thank you very much for watching my video. Um, as I said, mentioned earlier on, details and links are below. Thanks very much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.